this bit was underneath the Lyceum. Um, if you go around behind the fence and look down, I couldn't get down because you can't get in. And then there's, as you can see, there's fences uh, trimming it off. But I did a view on both sides. I don't know what it is. Anyone know? Now this is the uh, old Billington's dance studio, um, originally owned by the Turners, taken over by the Billington's who ran it for 40 odd years and then it was sold out to the masses who ran it until uh, the last day uh, it opened its doors which I believe was back in 2016. Beautiful building, um, I'm trying to work out where the, I mean these curtains look very very old as I said they were 60s, 70s. I just thought it was a really, really nice place. Uh, never even noticed it before, you know. I used to do all ballroom dancing and other bits and pieces from there. Now I walked up the side towards Parliament Square. Um, you've got the TJU's building. I just zoomed in to have a look because this used to be Toy Nobby years ago and it was TJU's, then it shut down, then it was TJU's again. And I think it's shut down for good now. I think that's pretty much going to be the end. Um, but a massive retail space that's just left empty. Now this happened before COVID-19. So, and here I'm just making my way across now to Parliament Square where we've got the Town Hall and also Anne Kennett and some more interesting things to look at. During a Liberal rally at Free Trade Hall Manchester, Annie Kenny, the statue coming up, um, and a friend, Christopher Pankhurst, interrupted a political meeting that was being attended by Winston Churchill. They ended up getting the vote for women over 30, um, and that's when she retired. Um, she died on the 9th of July, 1953, age, age 73, excuse me, of diabetes. Wonderful woman and a video all of her own, which I'll be doing very soon. Now we're coming up towards the Town Hall. Now, this is where Winston Churchill was signed in on the steps of the Town Hall as a Member of Parliament. I think that was back in 1900 because he served six years before he defected to the Socialist Party from the Conservatives. I think he obviously ended up going back in the end. Um, there's a plaque to commemorate it and I really like this um, that I saw in the floor, which I thought was really, really good. I saw this as I was walking up the stairs. If you look, there's th two squares, metal squares, on that third step. I've no idea what they're for. Does anybody know what they would have been used for? Just coming over to the statue now, the War Memorial, which sits in front of the Greaves Hotel or the Greaves Pub. It's not the Greaves anymore, by the way. Um, I don't know what's happening to it. I don't know if they're converting it. But that War Memorial there, I always thought, not these on the wall, but the, the one behind, um, I always thought that that was a World War II memorial for some reason. And when I was looking at this wall, I focused on it because there's some writing in that and I couldn't read it. It's all worn out. Um, but thought a walk up these steps um, would be interesting and then we go down the um, street at the top which has got all the solicitors on which has got some really nice buildings.
Right, now we're coming up to the market. Now, if you're familiar with Tommy Field Market as it used to be, um, then, um, and you've not seen this one, maybe you've moved out of the town a long time ago, I don't know. But basically what happened was um, they knocked down the old market, which was all the wooden stalls, another one with character. And they turned half of it into a car park, and then they put up about four or five fow metal um, market stands, uh, stalls, excuse me. And they also, if you remember, or what they used to be, or if you didn't know, the, around the outside of the wall, which I'll show in a minute, there used to be all these shops. Now, some of them are still there, but the majority of them, they've ripped them down because Oldham needs another car park. Ridiculous. Um, Basically what happened, when they tore it all down, that's when there was a slump in the town centre because everyone used to go to Oldham. Tuesday it was, Monday it was a market, um, Wednesday was the flea market, you used to go Ashton on Tuesday, Oldham on the Wednesday, and then obviously all the weekend. But I mean, just look at this. Now we're just coming down to the arcades. Now there's only one of these arcades left. Um, they demolished the other one off, filled it in. I think where you can see it bricked in there on the left hand side. I think that's where it was, but I will stand corrected if anyone can tell me different. Um, I couldn't get down, but what I worked out was when I come up to this gate, you can go in through the amusement arcade. So I actually snipped in round the back. Uh, just to get in there and have a look and show you those pictures that are detailed inside on the left There's loads of local interest stuff there uh, and an interesting person actually a bloke that's buried near me in um, a local church and he was a mathematician uh, a very clever man a weaver um, I'll show you his picture now now the man that's, men oh, that's mentioned at the top there he's got the white hair um, he is a mathematician, uh, he was a weaver from Oldham, a very clever man and he, I think he was self-educated, he could just do maths like there was nothing else. And he, it says it on there, he, he'd never seen the sea but he, he calculated these things that just made a vast, a vast uh, improvement to sea travel and other bits and pieces. Apparently he was offered a job to go and live in Liverpool and he paid a handsome sum of money and he turned it down because he said no I just want to be a weaver. Now he's buried in St Margaret's in um, Hollins, so I'm going to put the video in that I took today because I've been to his grave before. His death mask was on show uh, at Oldham uh, Art Gallery at one point, uh, but if you go and visit his grave, it's really good because it's got the big inscription on saying what he is and who he's, what he's done and who he is and all the rest of it. So yeah, have a look. And I couldn't not film the library when I went in, uh, to Oldham that is, um, as you may may not know, they don't use this library anymore for some reason, it's been condemned.
for use as a library and um, uh, art gallery, which I think is a big shame because, as you can see, it's a beautiful building. It's been in the um, town for a long time this is an old sign look it's even got the old number 061 Well, that's the end of the tour for today. As always, it's been a mammoth uh, task trying to edit it all. Um, I hope that you like the video. If you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know. Um, and I won't do that boring YouTube thing. But if you do want to subscribe, that helps me out a lot. And it also shows me it's worthwhile making the videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.